Hey guys, Yo Dude here, back with another video. And today, it's kind of another like, like rant video kind of, but with sports games, because, you know, sports games, yeah, we need to talk. Ever since the current gen consoles have come around, Xbox One, PS4, Every sports game has been spamming money. They want you to buy everything that they have. They want you to buy VC, butt, mutt points, whatever you have in your sports games. Now, there are a few games that do not do that, aka racing games. Racing games do not spam you or tell you to buy money not buy money <laughs> yep buy money but buy buy their virtual currency they offered tiny dlc but that's just to make the game better or give you more options for you it's not it's not oh here you go here's you know, it will make you better. No. Because in the NASCAR games, they'll give you new paint schemes if you buy the DLC. Different, you know, different cars and stuff like that. That's what they do. Those are what the games do that are racing games. All the other sports games, if you want to be good at the game, yeah, basically, if you want to be good at NBA 2K, like, my team or my career... You have to buy VC to make your to make your player good or your team good. It's kind of the same thing with Madden, but not with my career because they don't have a my career. But with my team, same thing with MLB, same thing with FIFA. These guys want money, and it makes sense. It's a money making company, but if they made a good enough game to where. To where they can reach sales funds. Their thinking is. If we don't reach sales funds. Then we can just offer people to buy. Like. the Our currency. Virtually. And we'll get enough money. To where the sales. Usually. Okay. Let's say for example. 100 people. Bought. The $100. The top currency in every sports game. That gives them. That gives them $10,000. In revenue. Right there. If 100 people. Bought a $60 game. That buy That gets some. 600 six thousand credit they made four four thousand more dollars by just people who already had the game get currency than just them buying the game and that's not including the 100 people who already bought the game sixty dollars so that's six thousand dollars extra so they're really for every 100 people who bought the $100 maxed out currency and the game. The company just made $16,000. $10,000 more than people just buying the regular game. So that's why they usually spam people to buy the money. I mean, the currency matters, but it really doesn't. I mean, it makes your person good, but skill, if you have skill, then that's what it should be about. If they made the game better, then they would have more sales. They wouldn't have to worry about people. They wouldn't have to worry about having to offer the virtual currency. But they still make it because why not? You have all these people that spend $5,000, $10,000 just to make their team good on NBA, Madden, MLB, games like that. They spend 
that much money to make their team good. And it's not just one person doing that. That's probably like 100 people doing that. That is how they make more money. Now, they're not... They're not making people buy it, but they kind of are because if you want to be good at the game, you have to basically make your team or your player good in these types of games. And I don't like that. They shouldn't do that. They should kind of be like the racing games that offer DLC that makes the game better or makes you want to actually buy the DLC, not think, oh, well, it will make my team better or... No, or it should, with DLC, it makes people think, I'll buy it because it's pretty cool and I actually like the things that are included in it. And you get to keep that forever. But with the video games that charge for virtual currency, you don't keep that forever because you usually spend it. Once you run out of it, and you want something else, a bunch of people buy it again. Because they want to, or they, they think they need it. Listen, in video games, you never need anything. You might think it's cool, but you never need it. Like, I sometimes want stuff, and I never say, oh, I need it. You don't, you never need it. In video games, you don't need it. But... That's the company, the company takes, takes care of it, I guess. They take care of the money of the virtual currency because they know that's what that a bunch of people go for. That's what they think that everyone goes for. They know that people think that they need it. And then they'll buy it. That's why they'll never take it out of their game. So. That is why. Every sports game. Is, there at, is at risk. Anyway. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.